and welcome to another uh, one of Nia's art tutorials. Um, this one was kind of a request based off of a comment we got on a stream that we did on July 17th, and it is how to do digigrade legs. And I figured I'd throw in how to do plantigrade legs and ungulate legs as well while we're at it. So starting off with digigrade legs, you want to draw where the hip would be just with a circle and then you want to make a line connecting from the hip to where the knee joint will be in veterinary we would call this the stifle joint and from there you make another line connecting to the ankle joint also known as the hock joint and then connect from the hock joint to the paw pad and then from there, you would just give some extra depth to where the joints are to add the muscle layer to it. And then just add where the ground would be and then draw the paw pad right there. And just connecting everything together. Draw the back of the leg like this. Mm, just like that. And that's the basics to how to do digigrade. Once you're all done, you can erase the sketch layer like this. Just to give it a more clean look like that. And let's move on to plantigrade legs. Now, cats and dogs, for example, have digigrade legs. Plantigrade are what humans and bears have. So same process, draw where the hip is, and then you'll draw the knee and the ankle, except this point the ankle touches the ground, which is different from um, digigrade. You want to draw the foot, and then same process, just add some muscle to the kind of bony structure here. And... That's how to get plantigrade. In digigrade, this would be raised up more, and a part of this would be up. So let me do a really quick digigrade for comparison. So this part would be the same as this. And then hoofed animals like horses or goats are known as ungulates. And this is like the and then anatomy that they have. So it's the same thing they have also the stifle joint and the hawk joint. But then you also want to make distinctions between the different joints of what would be their finger and toes. And they're definitely a bit different. That's why horses seem to have a lot more joints in their legs than humans and cats and dogs do. It's because they're, um, this is called the metatarsal or metacarpal and the phalanges, they're all raised above the ground unlike us. And yeah, this is the basic structure of ungulates. Fun fact is this would be the coffin bone, this would be the short past stern bone, long past stern bone, and this would be the cannon bone. And it just, the best way to learn how to do the different legs is to just reference from real life. Look up horse pictures, look up cats and dogs, look up humans and bears, and just reference, notice the different joints and what they look like. And that's really all I can say in how to get better because cartoon style, furries, whatever, is based on real life and studying from real life and getting a basic understanding of anatomy and physiology is really the best way to just get better at art, really. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hope this helps some people with getting better at art. 
Thank you for watching.